In this video, we're going to learn how to reverse a string using pointers in C. So the first thing we'll do is declare a car array called string, and we'll store into this car array the string A, B, C, D, E. Then we'll declare a function to reverse a string. We'll call the function reverse string, and the function will have a void return type because the function doesn't need to return a value. The function will have the parameter car star string for the string that's passed to the function as an argument. We'll copy this and supply a definition of the function down here. Now, when a string is passed to the function, this car pointer parameter here string is going to point to the first character in the string. In other words, this variable is going to store the memory address of the first character in the string. So the string will be stored as a sequence of characters in memory. So first we would have A, then B, then C, then D, then E, then the special null terminator character at the end of a string. And string is going to point to that first character in the string. Now it's possible that string could be set to null, which would be a pointer to nothing, and we can't really do anything in that case, so we'll check for that. If string does store the value null, then it's a pointer to nothing, and we're going to return to stop the function because we can't really do anything in this case. Now we're going to use the concepts of pointer dereferencing and pointer arithmetic to help us solve this problem. So if we have a pointer like string, we can actually access the character that string points to using star. So here, if we have star string, this will dereference the pointer and give us access to the character that string points to. So for example, we could declare a car type variable called temp and we could assign to temp the character that string points to. So after this, temp would then store the character lowercase a. We can also dereference the pointer to modify the character stored at that position in memory. So for example, if we had star string is equal to lowercase c, then the character that's stored at the position that string points to would be set to lowercase c. We can also use what's called pointer arithmetic to modify what the pointer points to. So for example, if here we had string plus plus, then string would point to the next character in the string. So string would then point to this character here, lowercase b. And in a similar way, if we had string minus minus, then string would point to the previous character in the string, and string would point to this character here, lowercase c. So we'll use these concepts of pointer dereferencing and pointer arithmetic to solve this problem. Now in terms of our actual algorithm to solve this problem, we'll use two pointers, start and end and start is initially going to point to this first character here in the string, and end is initially going to point to this last character here in the string. Then we could use pointer dereferencing to access and swap the characters that start and end point to. So for example, we could swap lowercase a and lowercase e here, and e could go here, and a could go here. Then we could use pointer arithmetic to move start and n inwards into the string by one character. So we could increment start and then start would then point to this character here, lowercase b, and we could decrement end and end would then point to this character here, lowercase d. Then again, we could use pointer dereferencing to swap these characters and lowercase d could go here and lowercase b could go here. And the algorithm would proceed like this. Now in order to have end initially point to this last character in the string here, we'll have to move it there. So we'll have end initially point to the first character in the string that string points to. Then we'll have a loop continually increment end until end reaches the special null terminator character at the end of a string. So eventually end is going to reach that special character at which point the loop can stop. Then we'll actually decrement end to have end point to the last character in the string that's not the special null terminator. Now it is possible to have a string that's only made up of the null terminator character. In that case, we could say we have an empty string. We can't really do anything in this case. So if the end pointer initially points to the null terminator, we're just going to return to stop the function. So down here, we'll declare a car pointer variable called end and we'll set it to initially point to the first character in the string with is equal to string. Then we'll check to see if the character pointed to by end is the null terminator. So if we dereference end and it's equal to the null terminator, then we're just going to return to stop the function. 
Otherwise, we'll have a while loop continually increment end until end reaches the null terminator character at the end of a string. So of here, while the dereferenced end pointer doesn't equal the null terminator character, we'll continue to increment end with each loop iteration. So this loop will continue until end reaches the null terminator character at the end of a string. Then we can decrement end by one to have end point to the last character proper in the string. So of here, end minus minus. Then we'll declare a car pointer variable called start and we'll have start point to the first character in the string. So we'll have car star start is equal to string to have start point to the first character in the string. Now to help perform the swaps, we'll need a temporary car variable. So we'll declare that here, car temp. Then we'll create a while loop to carry out the algorithm of repeatedly swapping the corresponding characters on opposite sides of the string. So to swap the characters, we could have temp is equal to the character that start currently points to with temp is equal to star start. Now that we've saved this character, we can safely overwrite the position in memory that start currently points to with the character in memory that end currently points to. So we could have star start is equal to the character in memory that end currently points to with star end. Then to complete the swap, we could take the old start character and store it into the position in memory that end currently points to. So we could have star end is equal to temp to complete the swap. Then to move start and end inwards into the middle of the string, we could have start plus plus and end minus minus. So the reversal of the string will be complete once the pointers start and end reach the middle of the string. So at that point, we want this loop to stop. Let's say that we have this string here with EDCBA. And let's say that start is at the character one before the middle character C. And let's say that end is at the character one after the middle character C. In this situation, once we increment start and decrement end, they're both going to point to that middle character C. So start is going to point to this character here and end is also going to point to this character here. So because the pointers are pointing to the same array in memory, we can compare them using the less than operator. And before start was less than end, but now start is equal to end. So we could have a loop condition while start is less than end. And then the loop could stop at this point. This will also work if the string has an even amount of characters. So for example, let's say we had the string EDBA and let's say start was here. And then let's say end was here. Then if we increment start and decrement end, end is going to end up here and start is going to end up here. And we have the same situation where start is no longer less than end. So we'll have the loop condition while start is less than end. Then we can test our function out. So up here, we'll call reverse string and we'll pass it our string. So we'll have reverse string and we'll pass it our string. Then we'll output the reverse string with printf and percent %s to output a string followed by backslash n for new line. And we'll output the string here. Then if we save compile and run our program, we'll get the reverse string here, edcba. So this is how we can reverse a string using pointers in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.